What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this uh, Holly Weird 57 year old hag by the name of Vivica A. Fox. You see, Vivica is one of these disgruntled women that had this weird grudge against Kevin Samuels, a guy that has just recently passed. And they, she's one of those people that are probably happy that he's no longer here because she truly believes that one man is the cause for all these women and their dating woes. Let me tell you something, Vivica. You can talk about how it was karma for him to have passed away speaking on what he spoke on but there's men every day who lose their life not even saying anything about black women you know there's a story recently of a college basketball a former college basketball star that was trying to mediate between a black couple and what happened that black man took his life he was trying to help a black woman in a situation and he ended up losing his life that karma but we're going to get into that's a whole nother separate video but i just want to talk specifically about you bitter heifers okay vivica a fox is a failed actress okay no one checks for her in hollywood this is why she's on fox soul who watches fox soul okay fox soul is just as irrelevant as her movie career her and these other females who no one cares about sit around they love to shame and and make excuses as to why they are where they're at. And this is why Vivica herself is with nobody. She's dating younger men because that's her only option. Young men who need her. And that's the type of woman that Vivica Fox is it. Vivica Fox is. You know, she's an old looking 57 year old bitter female that's mad because a guy like Kevin Samuels dared to hold them accountable. Kevin Samuels built a platform where women went on there willingly. If those women don't call in, those women don't watch, those women don't hate subscribe, hate watch, he doesn't grow as big as he does. But you can't tell that to Vivica because Vivica is so triggered because she's single and alone and bitter. She's living in an empty home, no love. I don't even believe she has any children. Vivica will forever be known as the female who ate the groceries of 50 Cent. Okay. You, <laughs> you can talk about Kevin Samuels all you want to, but you will always be known as the female who ate 50 Cent's groceries. Okay. So let's get into this uh, article. It says, disagreeing with Marlon Wayans, who believed Kevin Samuels healed others during his life. The Days of Our Lives alum says the man, this man was a hypocrite. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. That's because you were triggered. You didn't have to be triggered. You were. You see, I don't watch people who I feel like will upset me or will make me feel some type of way. But you couldn't do that because, again, a lot of you females like you are going to be alone forever. You're not going to find love because you have no love in your life. Vivek K. Fox has little to no sympathy in the wake of Kevin Samuel's untimely passing, weighing in on the controversial YouTuber's shocking death in a new episode of Fox Soul. The actress called it a karma for having insulted black women on a consistent basis. <laughs> Y'all see how, you see how demented these women are? And these women will claim to be Christians. They will claim to be of God. There's nothing of God about you. That's why you're alone and you don't have anybody. You're 57, but you look 67, all right? Because what happens is when you have all that, all that toxic energy bottled up, it starts to manifest physically. You are a physically unattractive female, Vivica. And there's a lot, and not, not only on the outside, but on the inside. That's why you're by yourself. This is why you have to date younger men who don't, who don't really have much. You have to be a sugar mama because you don't have anybody of your age that wants to deal with you. In a Monday, May 9th episode of the talk show, Vivica responded to Marlon Wayne's comment on Kevin's death, disagreeing with the comedian who believed that the late internet personality healed others 
during his life the days of our lives alum said this man was a hypocrite in my honest opinion he really was I didn't find anything about him to be healing. She went on elaborating. He insulted African-American women on daily, on a consistent basis. One of his last statements that he said was that if you are over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, you're no good and disposable to me. He was a shock jock. I don't know if he said that, but again, why does that bother you? Okay. I hope this is a teaching. I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about karma. The 57 year old continue that you put out the negativity in the world and then and that when karma comes knocking at your door she might not be kind so the fact that he that he's killed over real quick and he was supposedly with a woman rest in peace well according to some of y'all he was into men and the fact that he was with the woman would mean that he didn't die alone but some of y'all probably will if not most of y'all. <laughs> uh, but I told y'all, these chicks are crazy, man. Th this is why, let me, let me tell you this. She wants to talk about karma, right? Let me tell you what's karma. Karma is you being on an irrelevant show on Fox Soul, which is basically an internet show. You go from being in blockbuster films to just being another disgruntled, bitter female who's older and that men ain't checking for. They're not checking for you like that. And I think that with a guy like Kevin Samuels coming to prominence, it was a mirror in their face of where they were in their life. Kevin Samuels was a mirror into what they have become. These women are a disgrace. You got women celebrating. I did a live stream pointing out all these weird, demented women celebrating. You know what's karma, Vivica? When you celebrate somebody's death, you get karma for that too. There's karma in that too. I'm a big believer in karma. That's why I don't put out energy that I know can be aimed right directly back at me. When I speak on things the way that I speak on it, it is because I'm giving you an honest assessment of you and your energy. I'm not making anything up. You are a 57 year old single female who's bitter at the world and guys like Kevin Samuels, who, again, you didn't have to watch his content. But because you're triggered by the fact that a black man can get on video and can be, you know, can wear a suit and he can uh, present himself in a non-stereotypical way that you're probably used to. Because you'd probably date guys who, de who wear wife beaters and, you know, oversized jerseys, Air Jordans, you know just young minded guys who don't present themselves maybe the same way Kevin is. You're, you're used to black men looking a certain way and them being perceived a certain way. When somebody comes along and they, they change that perspective that bothers you, it bothers women like her and the people on her show. How many of them actually have a man? I think maybe one on that Fox soul show and look at the guests that they have on Fox soul. You talk about a show that has, you know, just has no, uh, not no relevance, no credibility. And she wants to talk about karma. Karma is where your career is and where your dating life is and, and where your, where everything your looks is. <laughs> now that's karma on his Instagram post. Marlon wrote of Kevin after his passing, love him or hate him. He spoke his truth. We can view the truth as hate, but sometimes his bold medicine didn't taste so sweet. And if you have, and if you hate it, why tune in? Why call in? Because healing comes in many forms. His was nasty tasting medicine. There's no right or wrong in this love bleep. There's just discovery. Thank you for those of you healed. And we forgive you if you were any, uh, were, you were, uh, there were any damages because we know your intention was to heal and honestly f you was hilarious he added in this moment i pray for you and your family and all those you heal that can't call in to your show i hope you can heal more and reach more in heaven rest well appreciate you trying to hold on and express masculinity see that's what they hate right there express masculinity now there are people who made fun of kevin they didn't think he was masculine 
but he was masculine enough for people to be in their feelings about him. He hurt so many people's feelings because they thought that he could change the perspective of black men. See, that's they want black men to be destroyed, defeated, weak, cowards, while they're able to stand over us as if they are the symbol of black excellence. See, that's the problem. You see, women like Vivica A. Fox want to be seen as the symbol of black excellence. And when they see a guy like Kevin Samuels, who's able to reach the mainstream on his own due to what he sp speaks about, it bothers them. Kevin Samuels was liked by a lot of people, whether y'all like it or not. He was liked by a lot of people. There are people who didn't like him, but there's a lot of people who did because black men are sick and tired of seeing women be able to get on TV like that failure that is Fox Soul and talk bad about black men. We're tired of it. We're tired of it. And a guy like Kevin Samuels was able to grow and he was able to bring all these different people together, whether they were mainstream or whether they were your average everyday person. He was able to bring all these people together to watch his platform. And these bitter heifers like Vivica, who will only be known as eating 50 cents groceries or forever be known as that, she don't like that because she ain't with nobody. His words hurt this heifer so badly that she's talking about it's karma that he lost his life. Don't even know the real circumstances, but she's saying that she's putting this energy out here. Do you think this is good energy to put out here? I don't think so. You're only putting this out because you're in your emotions and your feelings because you didn't like what he said. Meanwhile, T.I. recently has recently slammed those judging Kevin on his Instagram live. He expressed his outrage at critics who have claimed that Kevin Simmons wasn't doing good in the community. He fumed, this bleep is effing a travesty of justice. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I ain't gonna let y'all bully this dead man. We gonna let this man rest in peace. The rapper turned comedian added whatever he did, he did it and he's gone. He's got away with it. F ya. He went on telling the critics to stop judging as he continued. That's between him and God, him and the Lord gonna have to deal with it. You ain't got no heaven or hell to put him in. On May 5th, Kevin was found unresponsive in his Atlanta apartment after a woman that had stayed with him the night prior called 911 telling the operator the lifestyle coach was complaining of chest pains and that he had collapsed. Kevin was rushed to the hospital where he later died. T.I. is right. You know, there are things I disagree with T.I. on, but T.I. is absolutely right. He's gone. What, what is this? T.I., like most of us black men, we saw how y'all reacted. We saw how your disgusting behavior. I showed it in my live stream. Y'all showed the world what we as black men have to deal with because it ain't enough that we make videos on it. A certain guy may say this or that, but the world got to see just how screwed up you truly are, Vivica. They got to see that you are the problem. You can say whatever you want about us, I don't see black men in mass making fun and saying you deserved it about a black woman losing her life. It don't matter. Like I recently did a video on a young lady that lost her life. She, you know, in the company of a Caucasian guy, right? And then we found out on her social media that she was talking about how that's what she wants Caucasian men she no longer deals with black men but did that change the fact that she lost her life under very suspicious circumstances doesn't change any of that any of that whatsoever you know why you know why it doesn't change it because it is it would be karma to sit there and tell that to say that that young lady deserved to lose her life because of what she posted on social media a lot of you people have no soul Vivica, this is why you're aging horribly because you have no soul and you get on social media and you say this with a, you know, with a straight face. How does that make you look good? How does that make any of you melanated women look good? It doesn't. 
It doesn't make you look good whatsoever. It makes you look horrible. It makes you look crazy. And that's why people are saying what they're saying. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Y'all go check out the other videos I did on Kevin Samuels. Share this video. Like it. Follow the social media. I'll see y'all next one.